after nap today, guys. Not sure what's up. But it's acting up for sure for Carl. Phew. Okay, guys, how's everybody doing? It is Monday, 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 July 13th. Uh, for those that don't know me, I'm Tracy Gorick. I'm a healing coach, energy healer, spiritual mentor. I work with, on your <clears throat> energy healing, then we do spiritual mentoring, and then the mindset. All of that together is how we get you well and keep you well. That's how I work. It takes all of it together to get us what we need. Um, any questions on that, let me know. Happy to answer them. So. That being said, today, this has been going around, and I have a story to tell you on this. This has been happening a lot. I think a lot of us feel out of control. And so that's what I want to talk about. So when you feel out of, when you feel you have no control in your life. Yeah, it's hot here too, Alicia. Um, gosh, I think we were 111 yesterday. We're like Phoenix weather, and we're not Phoenix. So, okay. So, um, when you feel you have no control, you do have control. You just have to look at things differently. You have to use your mind and you have to change how you're feeling, how you're acting, how you're taking things. And I'm going to talk to you about some tools today to do that. So, a little story for you, uh, background uh, on why I, I know this well. So, I live um, in farming area, right? So, the laws are a little different apparently uh, in the farming area. So what happens is we have pecan trees and so does a lot of people around us. So what people have done, they've come up with this nifty thing that's a cannon that shoots off, gosh, it could be every minute, and to scare the crows away because the crows will die. And um, so they, rather than just uh, handling it themselves, uh, they have this cannon that goes off and it literally can be every minute. And it happens all like for like two to three months in the fall. And uh, for a few years though, I let it devastate me because I feel like I was in a war zone and it would like jolt me. Anybody that's an empath sensitive, those kind of things really, really affect you. And so these cans going off would just really affect me. It was awful. Like I almost had PTSD and then every time like August came around into September and I knew that was going to, it could, I think it might start end of September, October. Um, I would just like almost go into a huge depression. Be so what happened was, you know, this started happening and then we had a bunch of neighbors. I mean, I'm not kidding you. There's 10 people around us where I can hear the cannons loud and clear going off and it would literally be every minute. So we went to uh, the police department here and talked to them about it. Well, um, at first they thought they could do something about it, but then they went and did research and got with the, the attorney general or whoever that would be. And you can't because it's farming. Um, they have different rules and they're allowed to do that. What they had to do though is they had to stop by a certain time at night. So I had no hope no control, I felt lost, I was stressed, it affected me so horribly. So I was talking to a friend and they gave me an idea. So it's all in your mind and it's things you can do. You can put in your, in your, you have so much control. So you can put this barrier up where it doesn't affect you as much, right? So it's not as jarring and you know. And so finally, Last year, I was able to master that and it didn't affect me. The cans were still going off, but it didn't affect me. 
It was crazy. So the point is you have control. You have so much control in your life. You just don't realize it. So whatever you can think in your mind, like, okay, so if you have a situation where something's bothering you, put up a barrier, just imagine that it's not bothering you and just know for a fact it's happening and it's real and true. And it will be, right? Part of it's your mind and part of it is we have that control. We have that magic in us to do those things. You gotta remember that. We're very magical people. We can do so much with, with our abilities and everybody has them. They're different, they're all different. Some are stronger in different areas, but we have this amazing ability to be able to do that. So, hi Carolyn. Um, so remember that we have these awesome abilities to take control. So when you feel there's so much out of control right now in the world, when you feel out of control, this is why I'm telling you, and this will help you and the consciousness, you need to visualize, imagine your most perfect day and what do you want it to be. Don't have anybody being hurt. Don't put negativity towards others. It's all about you and the beauty you want to see. This has nothing to do with anybody else because the second you do that, the second it negates everything you want to call to your life that's beautiful. You know, what do you want to, to live on the beach by the ocean? Do you want to live in the forest by the mountains? Do you want to have um, a pool, trees, flowers, um, you know, things be peaceful, whatever it is, just think of it, write it, imagine it, dream it. This is what we need to do. This is how we make a difference. Everybody doing this makes a difference. I see it over and over and again. I've seen it in my life. I've seen when people come together, you really can manifest what you want. And on the other hand, understand, and this is a hard pill to swallow, you're manifesting what you have right now in your life, okay? You're, we're all manifesting what we have in our life. And sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow. And that's why when I work with people, that's what we work on. Like, what are you doing? You've got to look at what's going on inside of you. And the problem is we've been inundated with such wrong negative information. We've got to reprogram ourselves. We've got to pull ourselves out and away from that so we can see clearly what's going on and manifest clearly what we want in our life. And you do this, it'll help you and the consciousness. Okay? Any questions on that? Let me know. Message me, I'd be happy to answer them. Happy, happy, happy to answer them. This is really huge. I see it all the time with people. You have control. And that was one of my big things. It's like when I feel that I don't have control, I go really down, like deep down. But you don't, you always have control. It might not be the way you think you have control and you have to look at things differently and come up with a different plan or a different way to look at it to, to fix it. But you have control, always you have control. You have control in how you handle things and how you react to things. And still, you can send white light, gold light, source light, bring it through the top of your head and out to your heart. I'll do meditation in a second, we'll do that. Um, and bring it to people. I think I see a couple orbs. Orbs, Alicia, have I or not? Um, they keep going in the corner of my eye. Um, so you have that control. Send the white light, gold light from source all the time. And then you have to work on your mind. And you have to work on like the protection you can put up there to lessen how things affect you. Because there's always going to be stuff that affects you. But once you get your mind right, it's going to be less affecting you. Um, all right. Any questions? Please ask them. I love questions. It helps me know what you guys need to know or, or need answers for or where there's questions or where the interest is. Please let me know because I'd be happy to talk on anything. And just know from me, as things come out that might not be pretty and you, you need somebody, I am here. And I don't talk a lot about different things, but I do know what's going on and I am here. I don't, I won't, because I'm not going to force feed or shove information down people's throat. I gently put it out there. But I'm here uh, for when you may struggle with what's happening. Because um, it's going to be okay. That's why we all need to personally manifest how we want this world to be. Everybody needs to do that. That's how we're going to change it. Send white light, pray, meditate also, and write your vision on how you want. These are hugely important things, okay? All right, so let's do the meditation. That'll help you um, 
mini minimalize or help situations when you've had with people or where you're angry because it helps you it helps you clear it out now it's easy to fall back into it so remember when you do this go back to also you need to do the protection that lessens if somebody's making noise like I told you with the cannons um, you can change it and I can't even tell you how awesome that was for me when that when I like the next this last year it was the first year it didn't affect me and it was amazing I was like they're still going off there wasn't any difference but I was able to handle it and that's the difference okay so let's do the meditation um, I want you to sit back and relax imagine the violet flame at your feet coming up and around and through your whole body cleansing clearing and purifying everything you no longer need Anything you're holding on to, any anger that comes up, any negative self-talk, just throw that in the violet flame. Remember, you can do this at any time. That's the problem with everything, right? We forget to do it, including me. I like, I have all these tools. You need these tools in the toolbox to help you every day. Um, we have these tools. Use them. It'll change your life. So throw those negative thoughts, anger, frustration towards others and yourself in the violet flame. Any negative self-talk, put it in the violet flame. There's no reason to beat yourself up. Any negativity that you feel have come from other people, uh, throw it in the violet flame. An example I'll use with what I'm talking about today is we went and we went on our neighbors and went to the police about the cannons and it caused friction. So remember that too. When you're doing something like that, they can feel it or they actually know because they were talked to. But they energetically can know it and it causes a problem. Um, you might not have to say anything, do anything, but people can tell even if they don't realize they can tell. They can tell. And it does cause more issues for you. And it just causes an argument or, you know, friction or you start doing petty, stupid things to each other to cause problems. If you notice that, it happens a lot with neighbors. So, uh, if you feel that that's happened to you with uh, from somebody else, you know, you pulled in front of them, like neighbors' issues, just throw it in the violet flame. You don't need to hold on to that. And then finally, the consciousness. Anything you feel that you've picked up from the consciousness, any fear, anxiety, stress, anger, frustration, helplessness, put it in the violet flame. There's a lot of that going on right now. Okay, and when that's done, take that violet flame and take it back up to source to transmute it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring source energy through the top of our head. You can imagine it as gold light, white light, whatever feels right to you. It goes in the top of your head to your heart. Open your heart up and send this energy to whoever you have the most trouble with at the moment. You can pick a couple too. Send it to a couple different people. This really makes a difference. And you want to open your heart. Our hearts have been closed down by trauma situations where we've been hurt our heart closes down and we need it to be open we want to make a difference and this is how we help ourselves heal and manifest what we need and want Remember, you could be, depending on the situation when you're sending this light, you don't have to be with these people. It doesn't make it that you need to be around them or solve the issue. What it does is heals the situation. There's some people you don't need to be around still, so just keep that in mind when you're doing that. Um, it's just to heal a situation so you're not holding the anger, and they're probably not either. You're helping them kind of let it go. Again, doesn't mean you have to be around them. You're just healing the situation, lightening it up, letting the energy go that's the conflict there. Okay guys, when you feel you're done, take a deep breath in and the exhale, just release anything that came up and put that in a violet flame. 
um, that's what I have for today. A uh, couple more things. I, uh, I'm going to do a group program. I'm going to do it in starting in September, I've decided. So we do September, October, November. Those are supposed to be high. We're really just going to need some, to do some healing in that point. Um, so I decided to do September, October, November. Plus that gives me time to get the people enrolled. And then because you get a healing alone, a one-on-one -on -one healing before. And I like to do it before the class starts. So when we start the class, I have the information I need. So we can work immediately from the beginning uh, with that. So um, that's going to start in uh, September. Uh, it'll be the first Thursday. We'll meet every Thursday. Um, I also have the one-on-one. -on -one. These are, it's just a time we need to heal, guys. So the way I work is I work with you and I give you the tools to be able to go and move on and function and do it on your own. I'm not doing it to, um, okay, good, Alicia, I will. It, I, don't, I don't want you to have to, like, maybe necessarily stay with me. I'm not trying to keep you. Everything I give you is to help you be able to move on. It might take some time, but I give you the tools and we work till we figure it out. And it does take time. I have a lot of clients. It takes time. Some it takes less, some takes more. And that's how my programs, one-on-one -on -one and the group work. And um, that's what I'm focusing on, but I do have individual sessions, one, three, and six. Each one, it's a less of a discount. But if you want to start healing, which is very important at this time. Earth is changing and transitioning and things are getting very heavy if we're not working through our stuff. I'm struggling at times. If, if you notice, like I've taken weeks here, a couple of days here and there, like this weekend, I pretty much rested. I'm doing some things that aren't smart that I've got to pull away from also. Uh, I pulled myself off the TV, but now I've gone to YouTube and I've got to be careful what I watch. Um, so I've got to watch more of the inspiring, uplifting maybe information and the stuff that's not. So pay attention to that stuff, guys. It's a big deal. It really can just drag you down. Things are going to be okay. We just have to work on ourselves, get stronger, work on our vision. Just remember that. It's going to be okay. It is. We just have to work on it. And we have to be a part of it, not the anger, negativity, frustration. Be the joy, hope um, that you want to see in the change. Okay, and do the visions for yourself, guys. I'm going to work on mine today. I'm going to come up with such a good one. Oh, can't wait. And when you do it, then hold it in your thoughts. Ooh. Um, so that's what I have. Go do something you love, something that brings you joy, lifts you up, sing, dance, watch a movie, run around the yard, whatever it is. Do at least one thing today, but do more. Then do some self-care, drink tea, Epsom salt, bath, pray, meditate. Um, whatever that is for you, self-care, at least one of each. Sometimes they overlap, but at least one of each. Then do something for somebody else. See something in people and tell them that's good. Lift them up and it lifts you up. It's so healing when you can do that and you start helping people. You can change the world by doing this. Doing the white light and these things, you can change. Make a difference. Write your vision. That's the other thing I want you to do. It's a big deal. Stick with it. Don't have anger or have something bad happening to something in your in your vision, though. Do not do that, because there's I know people that are so angry and hateful at certain people. Do not have that in your vision. It will negate it. It will not help when you do that. It has to be pos positive, and for you. And it could be how you see the world, but do not have anything negative about other people uh, for two reasons. One, it really will negate it. Two is you might not have the right information and you could be causing, your, it's not truthful, right? So hold it happy, beautiful, truthful for you, what you want, not what you want to happen to somebody else. And um, write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things that will change your life. I promise it will change your life. And I will sign you up, Alicia. Thank you. Yes, because I'm only limiting it to 10 people because that would more than that would be too much. Because uh, I want to give people the help that they need and I don't want to take away from that. So t 10 would be the most that would work with that. All right, guys, it's Monday. Go have a great day. I will be back tomorrow. Go do these things. Make a difference for yourself. Lift yourself up. Learn to pull yourself up. Learn to do the things that you need to do for yourself that you makes you have control. You can't control other people. And 
so remember that if you're just coming on go back and watch the beginning I talk about a story on how you know I was able to control for myself things that I couldn't control on the outside um, you have to learn to do these things because you can't control people sometimes it will work going to the police but most time it's going to make it worse for you and them you have to learn to send the light and do the protection and just change your mind when you do that it makes a difference you have that control you can control how you react and how you feel to the situations all right guys have a great day I love you all I will be here tomorrow any questions let me know please post questions I love to talk about what people want answers to so I will see you tomorrow same time hopefully by 9 30 tomorrow uh, and have a great day bye guys